This is all the parts that came out of the three boxes that we had that came with our CB350. Right now our motorcycle has this like chopper front end on it. I do not like that. And so I unloaded all of the forks that we had. We had another set and then we had these inners I guess that go inside of these tubes here. And I did some measuring. So these I think go on a different motorcycle with a different triple tree. And I believe Again, by measuring with a dial caliper, I determined that these will fit into these right here. I was provided some assistance from my sweet wife, and we were able to get a jack stand under there to hold this up. See there, it fit perfectly, like in this Y spot here front tire and everything's off the ground now we get those forks off of there because this has to do with the Kentucky Yankee safety I'm gonna take the whole front end apart and put it back together While we're right here, let's see if this fits up in there. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Yes, sir. Nice. Awesome. That fits real nice. I think things are going to work out for us. This right here, I notice there's a gap right there. I'm sure it has something to do with, you know, all those cones and crap and stuff we got to deal with when we get ready to put it together for those of you who are skeptical of the one and only infamous kentucky yankees integrity here is our little dial caliper and i will measure this as i said i did before let me here i'll even do you one more solid look for yourself we got yeah 1.292 and now on this one you may again look for yourself uh, 1.29872 there you go there now it matches 1.292 if you're enjoying this video and you haven't already subscribe to my channel guys there's three previous videos on this motorcycle where I purchased it as a basket case hit the notification bell that way you won't miss future uploads of me getting this CB350 Honda back on the road. I'm still unsure about what's going on with these forks here. I just wonder if, if they possibly could be used. If these are an older set. Some of the older ones had springs on the outside. Perhaps they were just adjusted wrong. I'm not really sure what is going on. But I know one thing for sure. If I can use these, I'd rather. So the long and short of it is, get it? This one's longer, this one's shorter. The long and short of it is, this, in the box of parts, the shorter shaft uh, came with it and was interchangeable with this fork tube. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting the shorter shafts on there, and then I'm going to show you guys how we're going to assemble everything else onto the bike. So this is really easy to change out. There's a snap ring right here. Take the snap ring off. Give her a slipperoo. Give her a smack. A couple smackaroos. So there you have it. There's the seal, and I've got replacement seals. And all you have to do is take these parts and install them on that new shorter shaft.
I put a little transmission fluid on here to make it nice and slick. I'll even I'll even put her on the shaft a little bit here. This is the kind of fork oil I'm going to use is ATF that is automatic transmission fluid. This will only go on one way. If you get it wrong, you won't be able to put the snap ring on the end. So here's your tube. And I put more transmission fluid on there to make it slip. Make it nice and greasy. Make sure it's straight and it'll slip right in. If it's crooked, it'll bind. So there we are. I don't like using grease on a seal because it's fibrous. And it could be, actually it could gall or something like that. Anyways, we just slip her down here. And I got this piece of pipe that fits the exact size of the seal around the outer edge of it. And my rubber tap and hammer. And that went in. much easier actually than the first one so the seal is pushed all the way in there and I can see the groove you probably can't the camera see the little groove around there so now we'll just slip this snap ring on there and we are about done with the forks Always make sure your snap rings are seated. I like to try and spin them around a little bit in the groove. That way I know that they're in that groove. Can you hear that? It feels rough. It feels like it's too tight, like it's dry, like it's got no grease in there. That's why I'm taking this stuff apart. I don't trust anybody. If they worked on this before, I don't know if they did it right. These are kind of safety things. This is a spanner wrench. And that's how we got to get this. I don't know, is that a spanner nut? Is that what they call it? Anyways, it's got to come off of there. And ball bearings could fall out. I need to be careful. Two ball bearings missing right here so far. Now on this bottom, here they're, they're falling out of my hand. I, I can't, whoop, just dropped one, guys. I can't really film it. I'm going to try to film it for you. Ah, don't want to lose them, really. Here we go. So all dry and not looking good in there. I'm glad I took this apart. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom side here, guys. You won't be able to see it anyways. So I'm going to turn the camera off and get her done. I'll turn it back on when we put it together. Let me show you how to assemble all this stuff, all these cones and stuff. It's mucho easy. The first thing is make sure that this plug is towards the back of the bike. That's the way it's oriented. That way you don't get the sides mixed up. Next thing you want to do, eh, 
this shock. All right, this spring is the outside spring. This piece fits right here in the spring, like so. And that just protects this shaft from that spring. And then you'll just, uh, wait a minute, I'm forgetting the part, hold on. Now you just take this chrome piece, and this is a shorter distance. From here to here, there's a piece inside of there. From here to here is shorter. That's the piece you want to go down. And if you look, that'll stop it right there. So it doesn't go down very far. Next, this spring goes on here, like so. Nice and simple so far. Next thing we need to do is... This piece right here will go on top of the spring, uh, like so. We will install this beautiful cone, uh, like so. This rubber and this metal will go on next. I'm just going to shove them on there for now, like that. And now I will cram this up through this hole here. Let's see if we can get it crammed up in there. Nice. Very nice. Next is this piece right here. And you can tell this is outside because it's nice and smooth. This is the inside. This rubber goes right here on top of it. There's no rubber, nothing on the bottom because it has this slipper on there. Bam. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now we're going to get our triple tree on, or whatever the heck you call it on the top. And we will bolt everything up. So I'm holding this up with a bolt right here, and now I'm going to tighten up that nut. So, she don't move on me. And now we'll snug this side. I'll put this rascal on there. And very nice, very nice. Six and a half ounces of tranny fluid in each one. And you can use fork fluid, but I have tranny fluid and it's free. Or I paid for it at one time. In other words, I'm not buying no fork fluid. This will work fine. Honda calls for ATF, automatic transmission fluid, baby. Our two bolts, they have O-rings on them. Inspect your O-rings, replace them if you can. Again, I'm not going to because I don't have any. It'll be alright. I'm not going to tighten these with a zip gun. I'm going to do it with a wrench or a ratchet and socket. I don't think we need to zip gun them down. Changed my mind. I couldn't find a ratchet. I ended up loosening these two bolts up and then tightening these two bolts up and then retightening these two bolts. The reason why is so that they're both even. They're both tightened up the same to this like, triple tree bridge whatever you call it and that is the more appropriate way to do that i thought i'd mention that that's it for the front forks check them out what a big difference from that and them old chopper forks that were on there it's so much fun just putting things back you know like they're supposed to be the correct way this is awesome looks good that's it for this one guys we're getting closer all the time now that we got the forks on there i believe we will start next on the electrical wiring get all that sorted out i hope you guys are enjoying this series i'm enjoying doing it i'm glad to be back on youtube uploading videos believe me my channel being hijacked has left a void in our communication so guys leave your comments below tell me what you think of this video tell me what you think of the build don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with any of your friends that might be interested in it, and that'll help the algorithm to get moving again on my channel. 
I would appreciate that. It'd be a great help to me. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.